Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my top three reasons to purchase this Honorpad X9. You might have seen my previous video where I had done a full unboxing and review of the tablet. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that in the top right now. But in this video, I just thought I'd pick out the top three features, even though overall this tablet is really good value for money. But I just wanted to give my reasons that I would purchase this tablet. So if we start off with my number one reason, and that was the display. So this tablet's got a 11.5 inches, 120 hertz display, which is at 2K resolution with a PPI of 203. And for me, as a media consumption device or even productivity, I found that at this price at 180 pounds, you are getting a really good display. I know it's a TFT, so the viewing angles are not the best, but it's not as bad as you would think and we can see different examples here it dims quite low brightness is at 400 nits max so plenty of bright if you need it to be and then general media consumption on it was really good the bezels around the tablet itself are really nice and uniform so that helps with it looking that bit better and immersive but if you want to just use this to consume media watch YouTube videos, movies, TV shows, anything along those lines, then you definitely can't go wrong. And I would definitely recommend it based on that amazing screen for this price point. My number two reason was the design and build and for 180 pounds, honestly, you're getting a tablet here, which is quite thin. It's got a full metal body, so it feels premium. We can see the volume rocker buttons here and then the power button as well. And then bunch of microphones around the device you have six speakers on this so that's a really nice additional feature that makes it stand out and then just generally using it whilst in hand it doesn't weigh too much so you can use it for long periods of times without getting any fatigue in your arms and hands so for me it felt premium felt nice nice and svelte and then moving on my third reason was audio so like I said this tablet comes with six speakers which are tuned for Honor Hisson. They provide really nice, loud, room-filling sound, which was, for me, really good, but we can check this out right now. So we'll stop that one. And then you have this with AirDrop, it comes up with a similar one. And another example here was Shazam. So you have this bar come up. So it's similar to Dynamic Island, but obviously for... So my conclusion on this would be based on those three points alone and the fact that it costs 180 pounds which is fairly cheap for a tablet at this kind of caliber i would definitely would have recommended it just based on those three things and then you have other little bits where performance is obviously limited because of the chip but still absolutely no problem playing games on here and getting everyday tasks done so for me 100 percent i would have recommended this tablet based on those factors Hope you enjoyed guys, catch you guys in the next one, take care.